What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Obix. Welcome to... Yeah, I'm a... <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back to Black Myth Ukong. I am Obix and today we are moving on to the second chapter. Some quick notes. First off, I tweaked a bit my setup, mainly my camera, because I noticed that it was covering a bit of the UI. Now you can see all the drinks that I have equipped properly without it cutting one of the symbols. Secondly, I went around my equipment to check if I had anything related with healing over time. Because on the last episode, I was really confused when I faced the Black Bear Guai. Because at some point, I was healing. Um, like, I got some extra health after using the Gourd. And I don't know if it was related to the fight itself, because I didn't find anything with a buff of healing over time. But on that note, um, my flatmate actually started playing on my account by accident. He didn't play much. He left me... Uh, right next to the shrine of this area. So I turned the game on and I was really confused. Why was I in a new place wearing different attire? The thing is, I did find a drink on my inventory that I didn't pick up before, which is this one. And it does have a buff of healing over time. Instead of healing 33% like the previous one, it heals 20 plus 25 over time. Uh, but I didn't have this drink equipped, so I really don't know if that thing of healing over time happened due to a mechanic of the fight itself, I'm really confused about it. And yeah, an accident happened. I was really confused why I turned the game on and I was in a totally different place. But I figured out what happened. I found my way back. I ended up running, uh, running up to a boss while I was searching for my way back. I just died to it and ran back here eventually. So yeah, now we'll do a proper search. Get to the shrine, lit it up, and just see what this area has for us. Let's play the game how it was meant to be played. And don't forget, as always, your beverages. This time, I got water. Does the sound not turn on when I'm in water? Where are you? Oh shit. They are shooting from really high up, huh? Alright. I know the shrine is to the left, but I gotta go right to get rid of these guys first. Now I can explore in peace. Also, I wanted to make up for the last episode because it ended up being a bit shorter. I don't know if I'm going to be able to today, but hopefully soon I'll be able to record a bit more. Because I'm enjoying the game so much, dude. Alright, this is interesting. I know that there's a shrine that way. You see that smoke? Oh, it's not, it's not smoke, it's a tornado. Holy shit. What the fuck? Um, I know there's a shrine that way. But it seems like there's two ways that I can explore. What is this? Okay. There's nothing. What are you hiding? It looks cool. There's ruins around here. Why isn't there anything? Not even a boss or an enemy. Why? Tell me, baby. I love you. I do love you. Alright. So there's nothing here. I don't know. Maybe that's the place where the drink was. I have no idea. Also, I gotta say I'm really hot. I'm starting to sweat, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? A mage. A mage mouse. Or whatever you are. Oh, 
All right, that's the boss that I stumbled upon. That frog. All right, let's kill this guy first try. Oh, you throw sparks? What the hell? Lang Li Gu Bo. Lang Li Gu Bo. Oh, I tried to dodge. Damn it. I was trying to heal or dodge. I didn't do either. Yeah, and as you can see, now I pop up here instead of at the beginning of the village or the, the area. Because shit happens, but I know that the frog is right here, so it's fine. Shit, shit. Oh, shit. Heal, for fuck's sake. What the fuck? I'm not liking the trend that every single episode is starting with a boss fight. I prefer when I get my time to explore around and then I face a boss. And I got cocky because I thought, okay, it's just another frog. The other one was so easy, I beat him first try. This one has lightning attacks. It changes things a bit. But now that I started it, I'm not gonna stop it. So let's see how this goes, shall we? Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fucking hell, dude. Unbelievable. I'm almost dying. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I was about to kill him. <sighs> this is frustrating. This is so frustrating. Fuck. Ah, now it made the sound. What the fuck? So the sound was bugging. Ah, fuck. Fuck, 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Fuck! Oh, shit! Okay, that was my first heal, great. It was a good call to use the transformation in the beginning, because it has a separate health bar, and it helps me deal a lot of damage without risking suffering from it, basically. <laughs> Alright, dude, come on, let's do this. How do I... Should I jump? <laughs> Holy shit, I got scared there. 
<laughs> okay. All right. I didn't expect to die to him, but I also didn't expect him to be harder than the previous one. And yeah, also uh, stumbling upon him also confirmed something to me that there, there are invisible walls when you are fighting the boss. I tried to climb these stairs when I stumbled upon him before, but I couldn't. I really had to do the fight before I could leave. So the only option was to die because I was not even recording. Now that I faced this boss, I don't know if it was clear on the previous episodes, but I started creating that list of the death count for all the bosses that I faced. Um, in case there were any questions, I kept that list with just the bosses that show that defeated screen in the end. The Yaogwai chiefs or kings or whatever. Um, but the thing is, I really only died to those enemies. I didn't die to any other enemy. If that were the case, I would also add the extra deaths to the counter. But yeah, let's just... Oh, I can go back to the previous shrines. Alright, this is good news. That's definitely something that I wanted to check. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna change my drink. Because in total, I get more health from this brew. Although it is a bit more risky, because I just get instantaneous 20% and then the remaining 25 over time. But it will mean that I can almost heal half of my health with one heal. Alright, let me check the armor. There's an armor set that I want to craft. Um... Oh, the set is pretty, dude. I do want to use the immobilization spell more. So instead of using the sprinting to add more damage, I'm definitely gonna use this. Performing light attacks following Evanescence directly triggers the finisher of light attack combo. What is Evanescence? The band? Alright, people, we got a new armor. Look at how sick this is. Also, I've realized while editing episodes, the details on the shoulders are really cool. It seems like you have a mask on your shoulder. I want to equip the Wandering White as well again. I also changed the Curios that I have equipped, so I got movement speed and increased defense. There's no need to increase the critical chance, which is so low. Oh, I got a formula for one of the medicaments. Interesting. Alright, so now I gotta check the stance part. What is Evanescence? Tell me... Oh, is this? Evanescence. When the enemy is immobilized the moment of the, that they attack, it extends the immobilization duration and massively increases the damage the enemy takes. Alright, and I do want to try to do this more. Evanescence is basically a perfect immobilization. If I do it at the right timing, I dodge the attack, which is pretty fun. I'm not doing that. It's part of the, the animation. And it makes it so the spell lasts more and the enemy takes more damage. So all the more reason to do it. So yeah, those are the changes that we are going to do for now. I'm going to take a little breather and then we're finally going to explore this area. All right, there's this guy here that I don't know if I'm able to face him or if this is a statue. I'm very intrigued about this. It is a statue. I thought I was gonna fight him. Damn it. What's up, friend? You are a deity. Okay. Oh, yeah. Also, something that I forgot to mention, but while re watching the videos of the previous episode, I understood like the lore clicked in my head about the Elder Jinchi and the temple burning and the bear. First, I didn't realize that the Black Wind King and the Black Bear Gwai were the same creature. And secondly, I didn't realize the lore of the Kasayas. So in the finishing cutscene of chapter one, you see that animated video uh, about the kid uh, becoming um, a follower of Buddha and really wanting to get together all those garments or kasayas and then his greed for that last one that he found prettier than the rest was what consumed him and led to the happening of the fire but I did not understand the context of the fire I don't know if the bear attacked the temple if he set fire to the temple, if someone tried to steal it, that part I didn't fully get it. But yeah, I, I totally didn't join the dots back then. I didn't realize the bear had two forms, that the Jinchi was the guy in the video. I'm just stupid, dude. 
And I just got this formula and I gotta give it to this guy. <clears throat> Bastard. What are you gonna do? Mm, he disappeared. Make medicines. All right. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I like that I can craft the medicines instead of just depending on a store or merchants or whatever. I like that the items that I'm picking up have that use as well. Although I've picked up already so many ma materials that said you can use them to craft medicines, but I thought I was just going to give them to an NPC and get the medicines back. Something like that. I didn't expect to craft them myself. There wasn't any spirit to pick up from this guy, was there? That's a shame. I got a spirit from the other frog. It's a shame I can't get one from this one as well. It would be s pretty cool to launch one of those lightning attacks. Meditation spot, nice. This tornado is insane. What is going on in this place? I'm worried that it is related to a boss. Because if there's a boss that controls the weather, it's going to be interesting to face it. Holy shit, there's so many of them. There's four. How am I going to do this? I gotta get up there, but how? How do I climb there? This is something that I find a bit weird. The fact that we are a monkey, but we cannot climb buildings. How do I reach enemies in these tall places? Tiny piece of gold and small piece of gold. Okay, there's different versions. There's a tree here. Doesn't it feel obvious that I should... Like, climb this or something? Am I just stupid that I'm missing some basic mechanic? What is going on? The fact that there's multiple stances is also interesting. There's quite some mechanics in this game. Like, for me it doesn't make sense to have a game introduce me to, or show me enemies that I cannot beat. You know? So how are there four enemies there that I cannot kill? And that can instantly kill me like this. Fucking hell. This is legit my first death to an enemy other than a boss. Oh. Oh shit. I really gotta watch out for the plants, dude. And I was actually thinking, I missed, I think, an enemy, a lesser Yaogwai, on the previous chapter. And I was wondering if it would be one of those plant guys. Because I think I searched every place that I could, at least. And also, why does this look like a chest that I could open? Oh, he has two heads. Holy shit. Oh, 
I was legit just celebrating that I killed the guy and immediately died. This episode has been going smoothly, is what I have to say. Alright, so that enemy did disappear, okay. He's not back here, okay, okay, okay. I appreciate that. I didn't even... Or is that the guy? Okay, he's there. <laughs> Why? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, see, there's even... There is even a, a lingering wheel there. So how do I get to the rooftops? What the fuck? I am so confused about this. Holy shit. Earthwolf. Interesting. He attacks me with the soil, I guess? Oh! I'm gonna get his skill spirit. Or spirit skill or whatever. Oh, that's cool. I got another spirit. Where the fuck are you? I hear you saying that I gotta untie you. Where are you? Are you here? Uh, wait, you're that guy. Gosia, Zhuangfeng 有缘定会再见 On the other episode I said that I thought this guy was gonna help me on a, pre on a future fight Or maybe 
he was gonna help me. But no, he just, he just was arrested, kidnapped, pretty much, <laughs> as food. Sure. And here I am again, just hearing your rambling, instead of doing anything. Oh, this is a shortcut, this is the other side, okay, I see. Yeah, but if I can get to that lingering wheel, I should be able to... I should be able to get to... the rooftop of the other one as well. Is this a spirit? It is big, but it's blue. Oh, it's a spirit! I can turn into the red archer. <laughs> the fuck? This is fun. It's fun that I cannot... I, I mean, I guess I'm gonna get a transformation for every type of enemy. But a part of me hasn't, get, hasn't gotten used to it. It always feels unexpected when I get a new spirit. <笑>我等遭劫难才落得如<笑> 这里早晚饿死了，杀下去！你怎么还在这儿？All right, so I need to defeat the two-headed rat and then come back here, maybe. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect this to be an entrance to a building. I thought the game bugged for a second. All right, I'm finally on the rooftop. This took forever. I was really worried that I would have to find a new mechanic to climb the rooftops and then go come back here or something. That would suck. Fuck. And of course I fell down. I legit just got there. Oh, the enemies are no longer there. Interesting. After I opened the shortcut, the enemies disappeared. Okay. And here I am falling again, for fuck's sake, dude. Let me just face the two-headed rat. See if he triggers anything with the NPC. I don't have any mana, though. Fucking hell. Oh? 
。我们现在这副样子，三王子认，我王奉属，三王子便心生不满。曾有国人游历四方，说在西天佛国见过他，可那西天佛国又在何处呢 ？Where do I go from here? Um, I don't want to go back to the shrine and trigger the spawn of the enemies again. Let me just see what's around the area. Is this another shortcut? It's a boss. Shit. And I feel like there were more places to explore. Second Red Prince and King of Flowing Sands. So it is the king and the second prince, a fight against two enemies. Interesting. I feel like the king is gonna be a coward that is not gonna take part of the fight directly, but he's gonna help some way. I don't have mana, dude. Why am I getting into fights without full health or mana? I thought I was just exploring. King is much weaker, of course. Fuck. Fuck! Why can I? Why can't I dodge, dude? What the fuck? I was dodging all the time. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting fight though. Um yeah, it's actually not what I expected. I really thought the king was just gonna come up with some mechanic myth fight or something. But no, he's just giving some distant support and he's actually really weak. But I, I did wonder what's gonna be the trick, what's gonna be the twist if I kill the king. And the other guy actually got upset. So I gotta kill the prince first and then the king. The king is much easier to kill, it's totally fine. But I thought that was going to be a shortcut and it turns out to be a boss. Let's go for it, dude. Yeah! <laughs> 
The king is throwing rocks at me. The king throwing rocks at me is not that big of a deal. The issue is that it can break my chains. It's, it's interesting because it's such a, a weak attack. But it can actually have that effect on me. Okay, I can <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if I defeat the prince, I win the fight immediately. Okay, I thought I would still kill the king. Okay. Sure. Oh. <laughs> this guy. I love this. The way that the chapter started with this guy just jamming. How come the fate... That fate snatched the son and the father flew? I gotta pay more attention to these things. When videos show up, I gotta pay attention to the dialogue or when this guy is singing, I gotta check the lyrics of what he's saying. But yeah, uh, really fun. What is this? Uh. Required sternness of stone and keenness of tiger. What is this? What is going on with this game, dude? What a gem. Uh, let me just go back. After this valiant win, after just a second try, let me lead up this second shrine and go back because I feel like there's a small area that I didn't explore. Oh, I just realized the animation is different. Oh, this is fun. In the first area when you lit up a shrine, it has the Sakura tree or that tree with the pink blossoms, pink flowers. Now it has a Buddha statue and the, the thing just opens. That's fun. So there's a... Since this is a dry land, it would not make sense to have a, a flower bloom here. So it has a statue instead. I like that. Yeah, I'm being pursued by archers. Don't mind me. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? I had such a delayed reaction. That was pretty funny. What the fuck? I started hearing the guy and I was really confused. So I didn't react properly, I think. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, these are the things that the rats were eating. Is this... What is this? Doesn't look like cheese. It looks like it could be cheese, but at the same time it doesn't. It's confusing. Cheesecake. It's a literal cheese cake. I'll get up, stretch my legs, eat something, and then we'll continue. Oh, another one. Oh. 
I really like these fellows that look like plants. That pretend to be plants. This sneaky bastards, really. Interesting. I thought this was gonna be a small hidden area, but it doesn't feel like it. That's basically. Oh. I forgot to rest, but that's fine. Neto is laying right next to my leg and she just stretched their little paws against my leg. That's so cute. She's basically like holding my leg while sleeping. She's so cute. Alright, so there's two places that I can go to. There's this cavern system and there's the other side. Ooh. This is a big boy. Big door. I can open it. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, wait. <laughs> Why am I triggering a cutscene? No, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, it's the king. Oh. What are you doing? I thought the gate was gonna trigger a boss fight. First Prince. God damn. And someone mentioned where is the third one? Is he gonna eat his own father? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um. What the fuck? I thought the gate was gonna be a boss fight. I didn't expect to trigger the cutscene when I turned this way. Now I'm intrigued. What's behind the gate? What is going on? I am so confused. What should I do now? Now I just have a boss roaming around. When I just meant to explore. How do I get there? There's something there. Ah, uh, This is just boss fight after boss fight. I feel like I'm not exploring at all. There's just bosses everywhere. Let me just get rid of the small enemies first. What the fuck? It's a new enemy. What are you? What the fuck? Such a cool design. It reminded me of something. Um, I can't... I'm trying to, rem to think of what it reminded me of. Something from an anime. <sighs> Their design is really cool. I really like it. Is this the way to the to that uh, jar that I can break? Is this another boss fight? <laughs> yeah, I stopped hearing the other boss. These walls that you can traverse are indeed loading screens.
Got you. Is it a spirit? Can I also use it? It's a different creature. It is! Okay, I think I got the hang of it. So the blue ones are n stronger enemies, but not boss level. And the purple ones are bosses. Got you. Oh, wow. I don't know if I should feel terrified or amazed by this statue. At first glance, it totally looked like a creature that was about to attack me. I feel like this area will just go on and on. I was just hoping to come here and find the jar that I saw. Holy crap, dude. I'm about to get lost in so many areas to explore. Let me go back. Wait. The fact that I just came from a boss fight directly to another one. Like, I legit faced the second prince. Got a shrine. Ah, oh, okay. The, the, the vessel is here. But I got the second prince. Unlock the shrine. And then there's immediately the fight against the first prince. It's wild. I feel like this area is just bosses. And I don't know if I'm making a lot of progress or not. Because... I feel like I should be exploring more. There's just so many strong foes to fight. Okay, let's go for the first prince, I guess. And I wonder what's the whole deal with the third one. Are we gonna find him? Are we gonna fight him as well? Or are we gonna help him regain the throne? Because it feels like these two princes and the king are a mess. Maybe the third one isn't. Easy. First try. That's what I'm talking about. Easy. And I just healed twice, I think. Perfect. Arhat gold piece. Arhat. Arhat. So it's not a normal gold piece or big gold piece. It has a name now. But yeah, this... I'm, I'm really happy with this one. But it, it was a pretty chill boss, I think. A very chill boss. So I got an entry for the first prince and an entry for the second and the king. Yeah, and it says the kingdom of flowing sands had three princes of the royal line. So they were overtaken by the tigers and the yellow wind king. So there's black wind, yellow wind. That's interesting. Yeah, so they were overtaken by tigers who fed on the flesh of their own kind of rats. Interesting. All right, everyone. 
with this, we are done for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.